Welcome back. So today I had to go back to work um, and the concrete guy came back with his bobcat um, after doing all the excavation yesterday and what he did is he just cleaned everything up with his bobcat uh, he graded the uh, pad and he rimmed it uh, rimmed it by forming it basically uh, and cleaned out the uh, the trenches and uh, we'll take a let's take a quick look around oh he removed all the loose soil um, some of you asked why he dumped the soil where the shop was going uh, it was easier for him to bring his bobcat in and remove that so, I don't know if the sun's blowing this out or not but so anyway uh, basically um, the top of this it's going to be a five inch thick slab the top of this slab is pretty much going to be almost level with the top of the slab of the house uh, that's what the city asked for and required um, they said we could go above a little so if we you know I didn't measure anything so it could be above a little so everything's all cleaned up um, I didn't mention yesterday but this corner of the shop is going to be a restroom there's going to be a toilet and a washout sink and a hot water heater and it's basically going to tie into my clean out on the back of the house over here so I've exposed that and cleaned it up and I'll turn around here so the restroom will be in that corner over there so there's your update uh, this is day two and we'll be part of part two Here's a look at some of the footings. This is the uh, 18 wide by 30. If I didn't mention it's going to be uh, 26 feet wide by 42 feet deep. That's the largest my wife would allow me to go. It's going to be plenty big enough for me. Well, shop build update. This is progress day number three. Me and this case spent a good part of the day trenching over 300 feet of trenches. Man, even with this bad boy, it was still a lot of work. So uh, let me cut and uh, show you around a little bit. The trench I'm about to show you is the electrical and internet tie-in. Um, this had all been USAID marked out and I'm going to show you why you should always do this. I have the house power just inches below that pit. That pit's 36 inches and the power is at 4 feet. There's two little dwids there that you see. One of them is a uh, fiber optic cable for my internet and the other one is for a cable TV which I don't have this right here guys is the gas line this is why you always always call 811 and get your uh, project marked out before you even put a shovel in the ground okay so that pit um, code for this local area is top of your conduit 24 inches to finish grade so uh, we went uh, 30 to be safe so we're 30 inches uh, this trench goes oh, sorry about this place is a total mess right now so that's about 30 32 inches deep 
and that goes approximately 105 feet over to the shop uh, electrical panel tie-in which I'll take you over there okay, let's take a walk this is the trench leaving the uh, main power and this is the trench um, I had to do a little pothole digging that is a downspout drain so we're gonna have to go below that and there's gonna be the electrical panel tie-in right there so let me swing you around we came from there and we ended up here so my, I'm going to have a 200 amp service uh, in the wall panel. So that was the last trench we dug today. Uh, that one was a bear since it was 32 inches deep. But uh, thank God we had the case. That thing kicked, kicked butt, man. So, so let's cut and show you the other trenches. Okay, here's my sewer clean out and tie in. That's going to be about a 12 inch trench and that goes about 60 feet from the house to the shop and there's all the roughed in plumbing for the restroom. That all got done today as well. Uh, we still have to do the sink uh, drain. So that's a sewer pipe which I'll have to explain to you what's going on here in this big pit. Since I cannot get uh, enough grade for my shit to flow downhill to the sewer uh, connection, I have to install a Liberty Pump Grinder Lifter Station. So that's going to be uh, placed in this. Uh, I'm going to finish digging it tomorrow morning. Um, that needs to be 24 inches in diameter and 42 inches deep so uh, what I did is I took the trencher and I just buried the the bar down in there in three three passes so there's really not much cleanup to do so our other trench which is the longest is our uh, water line uh, that has to be 18 inches below grade and that runs almost uh, let me think. Uh, hot as hell here today, guys, and I'm friggin' whooped. Uh, it's about 200 feet. And I'm running an inch and a quarter feed with three quarter inch tie-ins. And that runs all the way from the other side of the house, all the way down the other side of the property. Over to there. And what I'll do is um, I'll cut and I'll bring you out front and show you the tie-in for the uh, water line. Rocco, you inspecting all this work? What do you think, huh? What do you think, boy? You approve? How about that little Shih Tzu? Thinks he approves? Rocco, you gotta watch him so he doesn't fall in the pit. Uh-oh, here comes Enzo. You guys are good boys. Enzo or Guido, get away from that pit. Come on. Here's a shot from far right field of the property. Basically that'll give you a, an idea of the layout and how everything's gonna be situated. Here's a shot of the restroom plumbing roughed in uh, the tall the tall piece of PVC is the through the roof vent and that's where our water lines coming from after it makes the corner around the property here's a shot of the uh, grinder lifter Liberty pumps sewer uh, station with a 18 inch riser that's where all your uh, plumbing, backflow valve, shutoff valve, and electrical goes. 
Um, that sits on a inch of pea gravel and finish grade is 42 inches to the top of that. That top is going to end up in a flower bed. So we're gonna hide it pretty well. Um, it is vented. Um, it does have a discharge that goes into that sewer clean out. In case you're wondering why there's a shitter in my front yard, uh, the city required me to have this. God forbid if somebody had to take a piss and they couldn't piss in the backyard, huh? Anyway, so now we're gonna walk towards my uh, water main, which is fed from right behind the shitter, right here. And that is fed to the house with a two inch P piece of PVC. The reason it's two inches is because we are required to have uh, fire sprinklers in uh, new construction. So I have a two inch feed, main line. Basically there's my tie-in. There's my riser that goes into the house. Uh, that's for my uh, drip system in the front yard for the landscaping. I got an uh, inch and a quarter ball valve plumbed in, and there's the uh, inch and a quarter line going all the way back to the shop. Rocco, do you approve of all this construction going on? What are you running away for? Good boy. I also want to point out the tracer wire for the water line. That serves as a tracer wire and also a uh, sprinkler valve or sprinkler control wire. Uh, that has uh, eight wires, it's four pair, uh, copper, 22 gauge. Here's the three inch electrical conduit. Um, this is gonna be tying into the wall to the main panel for shop power. Uh, we're gonna run 200 amp copper feed all the way back to the shop. Here's the shop. Panel's gonna be about here on the inside of the shop. And this is gonna be our tie-in. Three inches gonna come up on inside of the wall here. Okay, there's our tie-in right there. And that runs all the way to the backyard. All the way back to our temporary riser. And here's our temporary riser and are roughed in under the slab plumbing with a 10 foot and this is for a water pressure test to verify nothing no leaks and there's a vent line for the grinder lifter pump and that got head pressure tested as well and there's our 42 inch deep pit for our grinder lifter pump and our trench for the sewer line. Progress update number four. Uh, today is Monday. All of this work got completed this past Saturday and Sunday. This is our inch and a quarter water line tie-in at the main. Uh, that's an inch and a quarter ball valve so we can shut off the whole water system going back to the shop And we put a riser so that way we have access to the valve. I also have a 
uh, cap for this. So uh, the cap will be at um, ground level for access. Shop build progress update. The um, water main is all tied in. We have an access top there with a uh, inch and a quarter uh, ball valve inside of that. Got the tracer wire. Uh, all backfilled here, uh, wood chips put back. Uh, wood chips for now anyway. So uh, let's take a walk around back. Okay, we got the three inch conduit for the 200 amp copper wire. Uh, that's all installed, backfilled. We also have an inch and a quarter DeWid, that's for my fiber optics and uh, Cat6 cables that go back to the shop that feed off of the panels here. And of course they run all the way back. All backfilled. I just have some a little bit of grading to do, but for the most part, um, all backfilled. That was uh, 32 inches deep. I got to repair that. I had to cut it open because we glued the three inch together and then couldn't sneak it under it. So anyway, the other end of the three inch and the inch and a quarter duid is right here. And as you can see, the pad has all been rebarred. The vapor barrier, plastic and sand. And the, the uh, that's number three rebar, 18 inch on center over the entire pad. And then of course, you know, we have our footings and we have our Ufer ground here. That's gonna come up into the next to the below the panel, the electric panel. All the rough plumbing has been inspected, approved, and ready for pouring. We need to get an inspection on the foundation and footings. Today I got the uh, Liberty Pumps grinder lifter pump and riser installed and our trench for the sewer line is still open that's going to be a two inch line that runs back to the tie in there and that's about 15 inches deep 15 to 20 i forget and the electrical is going to tie into that that's three quarter inch and then the, of course the water line has all been backfilled still have a little bit of grading to do There's the trusty case trencher. That thing's been a lifesaver, man. Here's a shot of the pad in the back corner. This is looking from behind the shop to the front. So we have a uh, inspection scheduled for Monday morning. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Hope we get an approval there. And then we can schedule the concrete guy and pour the pad. Again, it's gonna be uh, five inches thick, 3000 PSI concrete. Um, it's a perfectly level and flat surface. There's your update guys. It's moving along pretty well. I'm really happy with the turnout so far. So stay tuned.